This feels like a major milestone Look up. to have the beds ready. <laughs> I'm gonna go. No, it's not. Is that where you guys are gonna sleep? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah? I think in here. This is pretty sturdy. A loaf. A loaf. And high five! High five. <laughs> It's scary. So you guys gonna sleep up there like? Oops. Oh, Daddy, you almost broke the camera. <laughs> yeah. Is there enough room? Uh, yeah, yeah. Can you guys try sleeping the other way? Whoa, see if there's enough there. room going that way. Look at me. I'm, I'm so tall. We That's believe that the hard part is done. This is the part that required a lot of things that we haven't done before. And a lot of cutting. Which is Good. conforming the space, conforming the cabinets and the furniture to the space. And also building a bunk that isn't too thick but can support the weight of them. And on top of that, making it solid and securing it to the vehicle so that it doesn't move. And I think we achieve all that. And the things that we have left to do, I think, are fairly trivial. Build a cabinet for the kitchen, wiring up the electricity, which I have all the parts for already. We've already done all the inner workings of the wiring, installing the fan and battery system and all that, solar pre-wire, solar mounting. I think, I feel like we're, I feel like we're way over the hump. I feel like this is going to be, this is going to be a really good solution. I'm glad to see that there's plenty of room for them to just kind of be up there and chill. It's an arm down there. Oh, Luca, we can hold hands at night like that. So we're really excited that we have the bed situation and the side cabinets in place. So today, we're moving on to the next phase, which is building everything that goes in front of it and behind these seats, which will be the kitchen cabinet, which is probably gonna be the majority of the work. And then the uh, we're gonna build a enclosure for our fridge, our Dometic CFX 65 DZ. This is the 65 liter dual zone fridge from Dometic. It has the option of either running the whole thing as a fridge, the whole thing as a freezer, or you can actually divide it up so you can have a small freezer with a larger fridge section. So this is gonna be really cool for us. And it sips power with a uh, DC compressor motor. So we're really excited about figuring out how everything works with that. And it's also got this Wi-Fi function where you can change the temperature, ch check the temperature, change the settings and temperature and all that right from your phone. We've not really used it extensively yet. We've just been testing it. But when we get this thing totally dialed in and done, we'll take it out on a first maiden voyage just to see how everything works. So originally we thought we would build a platform for so this can sit higher and then we can have kind of like a, I don't know, like the lid be at chest level maybe so that we can get into stuff easier without having to bend over. But after some consideration, we're going to wait to see if we need to do that because we didn't want to have so much stuff feeling like boxed in from here. Because if you can see, if we spin over, you can see right over this fridge here. You can see clear through the back, which gives us like really good feeling of open space. And if we were to build this up like maybe two feet or a foot and a half, we would start to probably feel a lot more claustrophobic in there. That's something we can do later. That's something we can kind of decide if it's necessary. If not, we'll just go with this setup with, we'll build a box around it and ways to be able to lash this in using these handles and then put a lid over the top so that this can be used as also seating, which would be great. Because right now the only place we have to sit are these seats that the kids sit on and the swivel chairs in the front, which is great. But if you want to hang out back here, the only options you have, if you didn't have this as a seat, is to be in the bed. So we're going to do some experimentation to see how this works. For sure what we're going to do is build the full kitchen counter and cabinet set up on the other side. So, so we'll start with that today.
Okay, so this is the front of the kitchen cabinet. Actually, this is the inside, this is the back. If you stand it up, then we'll be looking at the front. Stand it up like this. That'll be the front. So we cut these two big holes in it so we can have doors that go around it. And then we ended up cutting this notch out because it was nice to have the slant to cover up the angle behind the seat. But we were losing like precious storage space that would go behind there. And our thought was that we would put our catalytic heater behind there. So we kind of made it the same as this and then planning on putting a hinge door here that can open and close. We'll see how that goes. This may end up being a total bad idea later. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We've been uh, cutting and sanding and staining the pieces for our kitchen cabinet. We did a little bit of that last night that we didn't get on camera, but we will show you the result of what we finished up this morning. Here's, I guess, our last dry fit before we uh, start assembling this into its place. We've also moved the seat, the back seat, and then kind of scoot it out of the way so we can have more room to work on this. Right now we got the front piece, the three bulkhead pieces, and the bottom back support piece. We're gonna do a lot of pocket screws to kind of get these pieces to go together, and when it's done, I think what I'll do is I'll put some L brackets in some critical places where we want it to not move or be stronger. Okay. And maybe some strips of wood as a corner brace. But I think this looks pretty good. We ended up cutting out this little notch here because we thought this is kind of wasted space. Having that slant going all the way down was going to prevent us from accessing this being that the seat will go back into its place. And then we also cut the doors bigger because originally I had a six inch border, six inches here, six inches here, all the way around. But because there are two doors, I ended up having a 12 inch space here. So I brought that in by three inches on each side. So now it looks more evenly spaced. It's better, thank you for cutting it again. It's the kind of stuff that keeps me up at night. <laughs> and then uh, we have that countertop, yeah. cheapo fake marble countertop that we got that we're going to slap on the top of this and it's going to go all the way through the edge come out a little bit in the front and it's going to round this and it will come out a little bit over here and then we'll cut the corner off and get it to fit there and then we'll take a nice piece of wood I think and kind of put it behind the countertop and make a little three inch tall backsplash and then seal it to prevent water from dripping over so that's it. That's what that's what we've been doing this morning, and we're going to continue doing that, and then see uh, if we can get this cabinet looking like a cabinet this morning. And if we can do that, we'll fit the countertop on. Then we can go to finishing this one, which should be easy. But we thought this one was going to be easy. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> this takes at least twice as long. Yeah. Today is already Thursday. But well, we should drop the sink and that in, and cut a hole in the countertop before we start this. We should, we should get, get this, this closer. more done so then we yeah. can go to the propane guy and talk to him about options. yeah figure out if propane will fit in here or if we're going to put a piece under and have a pipe come up yeah because yeah, all the propane action will be here because the stove here we'll put the heater here that comes out and then should be a pipe coming up from the floor if we ended up putting it outside there well uh we'll finish this up and then we'll give you guys another look
we got it in place. All screwed in. Pocket holes. Is this for the... This is the for the kitchen. Kitchen. I'm definitely tall enough. So Marlene didn't want any screws visible in the front. So this is uh, pretty sturdy. You can actually put a lot of weight on it. I use pocket screws here on the inside. All the pocket screws are on the inside. And then pocket screws here on three sides. Also here. The front is held on by that little notch there. Four screws from inside here from this bulkhead. Five from here. I don't know why I did five and four there. And there's four or five over here. So it's held on by a good 14, 15 screws from the back. And then, obviously, when we put the countertop on, it'll get screwed in. Probably some L brackets here, or at least, if not, some uh, some blocks of wood that, that'll act as brace corner braces. Definitely a lot of storage space down there. I mean, I can go in there and sit. That's how big it is. This is 36 inches, and an inch and a half countertop will make it 37 and a half, almost two. So it's a little taller countertop than normal. And then uh, there's gonna be a piece of uh, three quarter inch ply that'll fill in this space, which will form this inside wall here. And I don't know what we'll have. You know, we may have a couple things there. This will also prevent our mattress from sliding out. I'm happy with how it turned out. A lot of measuring, a lot of trying to be very precise in the cutting and it worked out and it's really tight over here you can see the spacing there but it's enough to still have this seat come in and out without affecting the functionality of this uh the second row of seats so that's the uh, carcass for the kitchen cabinet we're going to take a little break and get some lunch and we'll be back and hopefully to put the countertop on okay. it's dark outside sure is we've been working hard today there's a lot of miscellaneous things we did today, but the main one is putting this sucker together. So that was, this is a really satisfying one that we did because we didn't have too much trouble, but we also took a long time to do it right. It means a lot of measuring and a lot of rethinking. And I'm glad we cut those cabinet openings bigger. I put in a bunch of L brackets. In these corners up here and down there up here and up here and down there when we put up this backsplash piece Luca's a helper he brought his wrench help tightening bolts so this uh, this will act as the backsplash that Marlene will put some tiles on <laughs> and you got some information about how to put tiles on a moving vehicle right yeah I got that down. <laughs> that's about six and a half inches tall from the top of the the bulkheads, and then um, once the uh, once the countertop goes on, which is about an inch and a half, we'll have about a five-inch backsplash that we can put something up on, and then it'll prevent water from spilling over the back. And then we're gonna do something over here too, and I need to put a piece right here. And Mommy. another thing we did is we. Uh, I fashioned these these uh, brackets to hold the uh, fridge down, so the fridge is in place. We're gonna eventually build a box around it, but for now, this is just gonna be how it is. And we put this like this this padded mat that we had in the truck camper. I cut it to shape and put it in here to both provide some cushion and also um, to provide sort of a, a grippy surface so it won't slide around and we did the same thing for the batteries which I found a home for them the batteries are now in here they're sort of put together the same way the extra piece of that foamy stuff I took off fits perfectly under these batteries and I put uh, strips of wood around it to lock it in place and then using straps to hold it down so we'll go for a drive and see how everything works 
Yeah. <laughs> this almost fell. Boy, don't let it fall. Bye. Well, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button. There's more great content coming. If you have any questions about our build, we're getting pretty close to being able to sleep in here. And as always, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Let's go inside now.